Hi folks, here I am right back with the next part of the new Hackett Demolition Series. It's Sunday early afternoon, about half one in the afternoon and they're working right through the bank holiday weekend. That's how much there is left of that last piece that was remaining and standing this morning and we've gone this corner now of King Edward Avenue and the promenade and just watching this digger for a bit do a good old bit of scooping and tidying there's certainly piles and piles and piles of wood and all kinds of stuff A gigantic clear up. We've got the brick pile there. We've got like the window frames and stuff pile there. And in the middle is the big drop zone for all the wooden bits. There's other bits in there as well, and that smaller grabber is clearing out some of that drop zone no sign of this gigantic one being turned on yet for that last bit down so we're just watching the tidy up i'm going to just back off a little bit and walk the corner I think I've got the best angle I don't think there's a better angle for filming because my last video I was filming from the prom and I walk around here to get a better view and the view is definitely better from this side you can definitely get a better idea of what is left standing and what this bit needs to come down and the scale of how much is going into that giant skip and tomorrow morning on the bank holiday Monday I'm just wheeling my bike round sorry I'm turning it it's kind of hard because I'm steering it with one hand and walking round but I have to keep hold of it because I don't have the key and lock on me and I don't just want to leave it anywhere yeah bank holiday Monday tomorrow I'm actually off work. I normally work on Mondays, but because it's a bank holiday, I'm off. So I will be able to come down here and give you guys an update on what's going on here. And I think as well, they're gonna be starting the St. Chad's demolition soon as well. Excuse me, I've got to pick my bike up that curb, so excuse me a second. There we go. Just got it up. So yeah, I think they'll be starting the St. Chad's soon. So we will be sure to keep an eye on that. You see, there's not a lot. See what I mean looking from the front? There's not a lot you can see from the front because the skips are in the way. Maybe from the other side, we can have a look. I've just got to keep my eye out for trams. There's no traffic down here, but there's still a trams running and there's quite a lot of trams running because it is a bank holiday weekend and all the heritage tours are on. So we're going to have a look down this side and just see what it looks like because we've done a fair bit of filming from the other side. So we're going to come all the way down here to the opposite side and get a look from here well that's good look at that if I stand here we're fine here because there's no cars going to come down so we can get an excellent view of what's going on there you can see the big wooden sleepers on the floor there on the road they're protecting the road from the machinery there's no gate there it feels like i'm inside the site but i'm not i'm obviously on the outside because the fence is there so yeah that's quite a good view 
I feel like I'm too far this way now because that fence is in the way. Let me just move my bike round. Such a pain bringing this bike round with me as we go. But it's definitely better than walking. Walk out woods a little bit and get a wider shot. That's better. There we go. That's I think we have the best angle there. So we've got some of that skip loading from the opposite end and some from this end. That's interesting, that looks like it's been pulled from the hotel. There's a grand in the middle on that wall. The pile of wood and windows and slate and just everything that was the building it's gigantic isn't it the tidy up is just going to be so huge I mean yeah the demolition itself is in the knockdown could be finished by the end of the weekend by end of tomorrow but the clear up I don't know I have to say they're working faster than any other demolition and filming I've ever filmed. I mean the ambassador they work quite quickly because they had to get the front of that down because of how unsafe it was. So that had to come straight down. Although for the front bit of that they pretty much just nudged it and it fell. But towards the end of it, it was a lot slower. But having said that, the end bit of this here, if you look at the side here, I'm going to zoom in and show you. If you look at the end bit here, where it's attached to the property next door, a lot of that will have to be chipped off by hand. Or at least with a handheld machine. Because I learned that from watching the ambassador be pulled down. The last few bricks, they took them down by hand so they wouldn't damage the next door property and there's still nothing going on at the old ambassador site because they have been checking all the time but it's still completely empty but I did read that they did have planning permission to build some apartments there and that work will be starting this year so yeah that is something else i will keep an eye out for and i'll definitely keep an eye out on any developments but i can always film down here because it's on my way to work so when i'm going to work i can just stop set off a bit earlier stop for a bit and film i'm going to give it another few minutes guys and if you don't start taking that last bit down, I'm going to end up going home. Because it's another one of those days. I've been up since like 5am. I've been up since 5 I've done all my editing. I've done all my job and I've finished work and now I'm back down here. So I'm like super tired and I need to eat. I mean it's still cool to see all this because you get to see, you still get to see stuff happening don't you? Even if there's no actual knocking down of stuff, you're still getting to see things being moved and changed and work going on. grabber now it's trying to grab the wooden bits to put in the skip and it's trying to shuffle all the any metal bits out to one side 
put all like all the old bits of wood and bits of carpet and stuff is going in there. <laughs> well guys, I think I'm gonna end this one here. Oops, you don't see. I'm gonna end this one here because I've shown you pretty much all I can show you this morning and this early afternoon. So thank you so much for watching. If you know what to do, hit the like button, subscribe if you're not already subscribed, maybe watch another video. So yeah, I've covered a lot more demolitions than this one. And I will see you soon in the next one. Goodbye.